different parts of the airline. British aviation giant Virgin Atlantic made history this week when one of its jumbo jets flew from London to Amsterdam partly on biofuel. The mission, led by Sir Richard Branson's team, was powered using a fuel derived from Brazilian babassu nuts and coconuts. One of the plane's four engines was connected to a biofuel tank which provided 20% of the engine's power. We wanted to prove uh, that a biofuel flight could take place, that a plane could fly at 30,000 feet on biofuel. People have always said that would be impossible. That has happened. Um, and, uh, and, and it's an historic day. Um, and we believe that, um, that as a result of what's happened today, uh, we can now start developing biofuel, uh, biofuel for the future that hopefully the whole of Virgin Atlantic can use and, and other airlines too. The world's press turned up to see the pioneering flight as it took off from Heathrow Airport on its journey to Amsterdam. The passenger-less flight was a success and worries that the biofuel would freeze at high altitudes were unsubstantiated. Virgin claimed the biofuel was created from existing plantations and did not compete with food sources or contribute to deforestation. But a more sustainable fuel will need to be developed if it's to be produced en masse and used across the aviation industry. With the fuel of the future, we believe, will be something like algae. Uh, algae will be produced from sewage treatment plants. Um, uh, and in fact, it will have a double whammy effect. We'll be able to take the nasty carbon that comes off sewage treatment plants. We'll be able to turn that into algae uh, and, then, and then use the algae as a fuel for our planes. The airline industry emits about 2% of the carbon uh, and the carbon is creating this blanket uh, which is getting thicker and thicker every year which is heating up the, the Earth's temperature. Um, and so w all industries have got to come up with ways of trying to reduce their carbon output. Um, the coal industry, you know, terrible emitter of carbon, they need to think of ways of sequestrating that carbon and putting it right down it, back into the Earth's atmosphere. All of us have got to put our thinking hats on to try to address this problem. Biofuel technology is still being developed by GE and Boeing, but Virgin believes airlines could routinely be flying on plant power within 10 years. Aviation is one of the fastest growing contributors to world carbon emissions, so steps to move away from fossil fuels are vital to reduce global warming and the devastating effects of climate change.